hello everyone welcome to my channel thank you very much for stopping by if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so if you are a new subscriber thank you very much in this tutorial we are going to learn how to derive this that radius that we use to cut a circle thank you this video we are going to talk about the concept of flares, the concept of circle okay have you wondered how you come about this formula you normally use when you want to cut a flay? You want to cut a flay, you fold your fabric like this. Have you wondered how you get that formula that you use to get your radius that you measure from here to this point? Now, you want to explain the concept of this formula. So you want to explain the concept of the radius, the concept of a circle. So this is a circle, right? Now, you will notice that if you want to concept, the concept of you notice that whenever you want to cut a circle, you normally use this circumference. Like if I want to cut a circle that I want to attach to my waist, I will use this formula, my waist circumference divided by 6.28. I've had people wondering how do we come about this 6.28? How do we come about this 3.14? How do we come about this formula? That is what I'm here to explain to you guys now. Now, the formula for a circumference of a circle is... C represents circumference and the formula is 2 pi r that is 2 times pi times r you might be wondering what is pi and what is r now pi there is a constant figure given as pi which is 3.14 it's unchangeable it's constant forever okay then radius R stands for radius, you understand? And radius is half of a diameter. What is a diameter? A diameter is half of a circle. When I fold this circle into two, we have a diameter. Then when I fold it again, we have a radius. So a radius is half of a diameter. So when you want to cut the flare and you want to get this inner circle, you normally use radius, right? Now, how do we get go about this radius? To get a radius of a circle, it's normally r equals to circumference over 6.28. The concept of this formula, that is what we want to explain now, okay? Now, the circumference of a circle is c equals to 2 times pi times r right now circumference is equals to two times the figure the constant figure given as pi is 3.14 then times r right then we solve further c equals to two times 3.14 is 6.28 okay times r now what we have to do now is to make R the subject of the formula. And for you to make R the subject of the formula, you are going to divide 6.28 by 6.28 and also divide 6.28. And also divide the second fence, which is C, by 6.28. So when this divide this, we have one, right? And we are left with C divided by 6.28 equals to all right now we are going to we are going to make our the subject of the formula so this r will come to this side and this will come to this side so this is r equals to c over 6.28 so now you can see that our radius is now equals to circumference 
over 6.28 so this circumference will represent the circumference of whatever you want to cut if it's the if you want to um, fix a flake on your sleeve just measure the circumference of your sleeve and replace it with this seam let's uh, let's for example i want to cut a flare that i'm going to attach to my waist then c will represent the circumference of my waist this is 26 divided by 6.28 so whatever i get is my r so whatever value i get here is what i will place when i fold my fabric like this is what i will place from this point to this point so whatever i get that will be my radius I hope you understand this very clearly. You can drop your questions on the comment section. Thank you guys for watching till the end. I will see you in the next one. Bye.